gorgeous Virgos. It's lovely to be back with you. Thank you guys for being here. Um, and Virgo, mid-September, right? In a vision, I simply saw a texting session between two people. One person sent a text and it was very, very short. It was literally, hey, how are you? No response from the other person. They tried again. What are you up to? Again, no response. Finally, they sent a message saying, I'm going to be around next week. Uh, are you free? Again, silence. A few hours later, a fourth text came in. Very different. I'm so sorry about before. I'd love to see you. When are you available? And the other person decided to reply and simply said, well, I'm busy at the moment, but maybe we could meet up for half an hour. I'll let you know. That was it. Virgo, I feel as if you're dealing with someone who may have behaved in a bit of an immature way with you. This is someone who may have tried to charm you. They might have come out with a chat up lines. They may be very attractive and they may have been used to people chasing them, male or female. Virgo, I think you saw this person differently after a period of time. And I think you've already moved on, but it's as if they're now on a mission to win you back. They may have gone out with other people, Virgo, and now see your worth. They may have not been ready to commit and now they're realising maybe they are. They're going to be blowing up your phone, Virgo. For some of you, you're going to decide to ignore the messages. For others of you, you may just be curious as to what they want to say if you meet them in person. So guys, let's um, see where this goes. The deck that I'm using is the Arcane of Tarot. As you will know by now, my website's down below if you'd like a reading. All the decks are there and the link to join the channel's there too if you'd like to become a member. For $5.99 a month, I put out weekly videos every Sunday just for my members. All right, Virgo. Yeah, I'm getting a really frustrated energy from this person. They may have, in the nicest sense, been a little bit on their high horse, they may know they're very attractive, very sexy. They may have got used to people chasing them, but Virgo, you didn't. And you're still not. <laughs> I feel now they are a little bit frustrated, determined to pique your interest somehow. So Archangel Michael, what do we have? For my lovely Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, mid-September 2024. Mm. I'm seeing somebody looking at these messages coming in, sort of rolling their eyes, sort of and just turning off their phone. Okay, Virgo, I don't know whether or not this person hurt you. I don't know whether or not you saw this person in a different light. Um, they can't believe you're not showing any interest. <laughs> And they're running after you, Virgo. They're running after you, but you're probably feeling it might be too late. So Archangel Michael, what do we have? <laughs> what do we have for my lovely Virgos? I'm sorry I'm laughing, guys. What do we have for my lovely Virgos? Thank you, Michael. Mm. All right. Cut and dried is what I'm hearing. Cut and dried. All right. So. Ooh, Virgo. Mm. We have the Judgment card, the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Now, Virgo, you could be chased by someone who's married and this is you standing strong in your beliefs that you are not going to be part of a third party situation. And this is you standing strong in your beliefs that you don't want a third party affair. It may well be that with the energy of judgment, you know what you want, Virgo. 
as a female, you're looking to move into a serious commitment. You're looking to get married. You're looking to move forwards with someone very mature who is ready. And I think previously, Virgo, you may have made the judgment call that this person was not marriage material. Whatever your situation is, we have the judgment card, the ten of pentacles and the empress. Okay. Let's see what comes through, guys. Here we go. The Tower. Virgo, it may be a shock that they're reaching out again. You may have felt because of what happened in the past, this person would never communicate with you again. And they are. Scorpio energy, Aries energy with the Tower. The Two of Pentacles. Virgo, you may have had a tower moment realising this person was dating numerous other people. You may not have known and you ended it and walked away. Or Virgo, you are just not sure what to do. What do I do with this person? Yes, I'm still attracted to them, but I don't know if this is going to be a healthy relationship is what I'm hearing. In the past, guys, justice, Libra energy. After that time, the King of Wands. Virgo, I think in the past you felt that this was your person. And with the energy of justice, you felt that you two were going to be moving forward into a beautiful relationship. But you may have found out something. It could have related to a Libra or a fire sign. You may have realised, Virgo, they were in a contract with someone else. In your thoughts, the Six of Pentacles. What you're thinking about is they breadcrumbed you before. Are they coming back to do the same? Or are they going to take action? Are they going to step up and take control of a situation? Are they going to act with integrity? You don't know. In the immediate future, Virgo, the Ace of Swords. As far as you're concerned, this is done. This is over with. You may be a little bit blunt with this person. You may admit, if you do decide to communicate, that you're very surprised that they would make the decision to come back to you. In your fears, the Seven of Pentacles, you don't want to make the same mistake again, Virgo. You don't. You don't. It's as if I got my fingers burned before. I'm not going back there again. I don't know why this person is reaching out. I'm hearing after all this time. Okay, Virgo. This is not someone that you detached from a couple of weeks ago. This is someone, Virgo, you haven't spoken to for quite a while. At least I would say several months, if not longer. In this person's energy is the Ten of Cups. What they're realising, Virgo, is you're the one, but they messed up royally in the past. What you're hoping for, Virgo, is that you're not going to be sad in your head, not knowing what to do. You don't want to overthink, overanalyse and stress about this, Virgo. If there's a tendency that this is someone who isn't going to be clear with you, then you may well turn your back. It's as if I want everything out on the table. I want the truth from you. And if there's any form of elusive beating around the bush type energy, pushing something under the carpet, then we are done. Really done. The outcome, guys, is the chariot. <laughs> now, Virgo, you may be deciding to meet this person, maybe for one last time, and then you may decide to move on. Or Virgo, this is someone who wants to move towards you to have a serious conversation. They may have just left someone and you didn't know. And it might be that they want you to know that. So if this was a third party situation, this is not going to be in the future if you accept them back. Clarification for you guys, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're a little bit confused. 
Ace of Cups. You're confused. Are they coming back to offer you love or are they messing with you? You're a little bit confused. Why are they reaching back out? Has their situation changed? Have they decided that they can now offer me a commitment? You're in your head about this, Virgo, and it's annoying you because you put this in the past. It's as if they're forcing you to reopen this chapter that you closed out before. And you're not quite sure what to do about it. I think, Virgo, the reason why you're deliberating is there were powerful feelings for this person. But whatever their situation was, this did not move into a proper, serious relationship. It didn't. They may have messed around. They may have casually dated you for months on end and it never progressed. Or you may have realised, Virgo, they were connected to somebody else. They're coming back wanting to talk. They may be sitting in a far more humble energy. So if they were a little bit arrogant before Virgo, that energy is going, right? They're not going to be quite so confident this time. Because what they're realising is if they move towards you with a sort of knight of wands, arrogant energy, it's game over. What they're thinking about Virgo, clarification for this person, is the strength card. I think they've been holding back somehow with you on their mind. Ace of Wands, okay. Virgo, if this is someone that was playing the field and messed you around, this is someone who's been holding back from being intimate with anyone else. If this is someone, Virgo, who was in a legal contract with someone else, they're holding back from pulling you into an affair and they are seriously considering what's going to make them happy in the future. And they may be deciding, Virgo, that's you. They may be ready to make a really big life change to bring you back into their life. But as far as you're concerned, Virgo, this ended. And I don't think it ended well. There may have been harsh words. You may have simply given this person the silent treatment because they deserved it. You may have cut off communication. I think this is someone who's been doing a lot of thinking and what they're realising is they want you back in their life. Underneath the deck, guys, we have the eight of wands. Yeah. A lot of passionate messages are going to flood in at this point of time, Virgo. With the Five of Cups, though, male or female, it's as if you're looking at the situation negatively. I don't see how this is going to work or I don't trust this person anymore. With the Four of Cups, they're offering you love. But Virgo, I don't know if you're interested, guys. This is you looking at an offer, but you're not exactly reaching for it. It's as if, oh, yeah, OK, well, hmm. I'm not sure about this. You're not very excited, Virgo. It's as if this person's mask has come off or you may, Virgo, have realised that this is not the person for you. Again, male or female. I could be dealing with a masculine who was messed around by a feminine or vice versa, you know. So, my lovely Virgos, let's get into this and see how this unfolds. So you're there looking at this tower moment, wondering what to do. It could be you found out this person was juggling you with somebody else and you just cut communication. It may well be Virgo that you're simply trying to decide whether or not to respond. You don't have to. Everyone has free will. You don't need to communicate with them if you don't want to. But you may be sitting there looking at these messages thinking, OK, maybe something's changed. It may pique your interest. You may be curious. What are you thinking about, guys? I'm getting a bit of a heavy energy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, three of swords. This was a heartbreaking situation. Whatever happened here, it was difficult for you to accept. What's on your mind? The Emperor. OK. Virgo, you may have found out this person was married. 
This could have been a feminine who had a husband at home or a masculine who had a wife sad at home. You were heartbroken in finding this out, Virgo. You're wondering whether or not they're coming back to act with integrity. Are they ending that relationship? Nine of Swords. You're up in your feelings again, Virgo. You're having a few sleepless nights because you don't want to be heartbroken again, but you can't help but feel, are they ready to make a change to their situation? Hmm. Page of Swords. Virgo, you may do a little bit of quiet spying to figure out if you can see if a relationship has ended. If you do respond back, it's going to be very short and very blunt. Almost the energy of what do you want, you know. What are you remembering here? The arguments. Okay. Virgo, when you found out what you found out, maybe that this person was in a serious relationship with someone else, there may have been a blow up argument. You may have said to this person, I can't believe you hid the fact that you weren't single. You may have asked them whether or not they planned on leaving their person. I don't think you got the response you wanted, Virgo. What are you considering now? Yeah, is it worth another shot? For some of you, you don't know if this person is still hanging on to their partner, but simply can't forget you. Are they trying to pull you into a third party again? You're not sure why they're coming back. This is what you want to find out, but you don't want to give them the impression, Virgo, that you're happy to move into an affair situation again. So you've got to handle this carefully. Be confident. Sit in your self-worth, right? So in the past, guys, with justice, now for some of you, you may have connected to a Libra. We've got a lot of other signs on the board as well. Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer. You may have found out, Virgo, this person was in a legal contract. What was the energy of justice, please? The King of Swords. Okay. You may have asked this person if they were planning on divorcing or you may have realised, Virgo, this person was being strategic. Hmm. With the Four of Swords, you pulled back to do some thinking. Is it worth hanging on in there to see if they will detach from their person or should I end it now? For some of you, Virgo, because you were so attracted to them, you may have stuck it out, even though you were feeling a bit heartbroken about this. Mm. Yeah, you waited it out, Virgo. You may have got involved with a Sagittarian in the past. You coasted and waited, Virgo, sort of keeping your fingers crossed that this person was going to do the right thing. You didn't want to lose them. After that time, Virgo, I feel with a King of Wands, this could have been your energy, this could have been this other person. There was a lot of attraction and I think you were hoping for major change and transformation. Scorpio energy. Hoping for major change and transformation. But with the Four of Pentacles, Nothing happened. Nothing happened. It may well be that they said to you, I can't afford to get out of the relationship I'm in. I'd like to, but I can't afford to. It might have been really difficult. You were trying to see their point of view. You may have tried to hold back from them, Virgo. I really don't want to get any more emotionally involved because it's... It's not looking as if it's going my way. Five of Pentacles. Okay. They could have had financial issues. They may have been very in and out. They may have been off and on with you, Virgo. 
not messaged you for a couple of months and then a flurry of passionate messages because they missed you, they wanted to be with you. So Virgo, you may have had a really tough time with this person. You know, looking at texts, getting really excited, thinking, oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe they'll leave the other person, but then feeling really disappointed when the text slid into sort of friends with benefits type speech. Are you around on Friday night? Can I come over? Or can I come and visit you? It was that sort of thing. And you may have felt, Virgo, this sort of gut-wrenching disappointment. Every single time it moved into more of a sort of sexual type energy, you might have thought, yeah, okay, I know what this person's all about. Very upsetting, guys. So what you're thinking about now is a Six of Pentacles. You're absolutely not wanting to be breadcrumbed again, but the Six of Pentacles, for me as a reader, can sometimes be dividing the assets. So you may be wondering, Virgo, if they're ready to finally leave a situation they've been in or whether or not they're coming back to simply try their luck. One thing's for sure, Virgo, they're on a mission to have you back in their life. So what's on your mind, Virgo? What are you considering here, guys? The Seven of Wands. You're very tempted to be defensive. You may be tempted not to answer messages that come in. They could be sending you passionate messages. More than one. It's as if they don't want to take no for an answer. But why am I getting a sort of, oh, not you again type of energy? Page of Wands, yeah. Passionate messages, Virgo. That's what that is. You may feel angry. You may feel like sending them an angry message. I can't believe you have the audacity to come back to me. But Virgo, I think you fell in love with this person. That's the problem. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Yeah. You got involved emotionally with this person and you know that it would be a dream come true if they came to tell you, I'm leaving the other situation. You know it, Virgo. But is it worth the risk? What if they're coming back to say, I am leaving and then they don't actually do it? You're not sure what to do. But your curiosity may get the better of you, Virgo. You may decide to give them a chance for some of you. Now, in the immediate future, we have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. What you're thinking about, Virgo, is this was done, but you may also be wondering whether or not they're finally moving towards you to say, I'm ready to leave the other person. In their energy, Virgo, is the Ten of Cups. I don't actually believe they're in a Ten of Cups relationship with someone else. I believe what they've been considering is Virgo is the one for me. They are trying to act with integrity. They are holding back from moving you into an affair situation again. I think they want to talk about, I'm hearing the options. How does Virgo feel? Do they feel the same way? And maybe we could talk about trying to make this work. Now, Virgo, for many of you, it'll be cut and dried. For many of you, you'll be thinking, well, it's simple. If they're going to stay in their relationship, I'm not interested. If they're going to leave their relationship, there's a possibility. Then I would look at this again. But, but I think this is someone who may be very nervous in ending a serious commitment. And they're wanting to figure out, Virgo, whether or not both of you could work towards a happy future. That's what I'm hearing. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups for my Virgos? Do we have timing? Thank you, Michael. Soon. Okay, the first week of November. The first week of November. So guys, we're already mid-September, all right? So it may be two or three weeks' time. He's pointing forward. I'm seeing two people walking out into the night air, but they're both a little bit distant from each other. They're not walking 
close together. They're not holding hands or anything. They're walking apart, but in the same direction. You may arrange to meet this person, Virgo, for a coffee, a drink, something like that. I'm also getting the word respectful. Virgo, they're going to be incredibly respectful, which for you will be important. This is somebody who's not going to move towards you with a fly-by-night sort of let's have fun type of energy. They may be quite serious with you, which may be a shock. It's as if they want to do everything right if they have a chance to win you back. They're going to be very nervous, Virgo. They are not going to push you into a third party again. There's going to be no, there's going to be no flirtation. That's what I'm getting. They're going to take this very seriously. What's this person thinking about? What's the Ten of Cups all about? <laughs> Virgo, the hermit. They've been doing a lot of soul searching and thinking about what would make them happy, who would make them happy, and they're thinking of you. What's on their mind? What are they considering here? The moon. They may feel mortified that they hid from you, that they were in a relationship with someone else to begin with. They may know that they would need to rebuild the trust. They could be a Cancerian for some of you or a Leo. What are they hiding? Are they hiding anything? What are they hiding? Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, I've got to be honest, um, that's a really lovely energy. What they're actually not telling you is that they are seriously considering ending the situation they're in to offer you commitment. They're not telling you that though, Virgo, because they may not know if you feel the same anymore. Or they may feel that if you would accept some kind of compromise, they'd rather do that, of course. Which could be this person separating from their partner and you two living together or something like that. But Virgo, if you put your foot down, they are willing to totally end the other connection, to offer you a proper commitment. This is somebody, for instance, who may be ready to actually divorce. They're not telling you that, though, because they're trying to feel their way into this. They're trying to gauge your feelings. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they genuinely feel deep down? They love you. This is someone who is in love with you, Virgo. Wow, Knight of Cups. So even though, guys, you're going to hate me because you're probably out there screaming at the phone or screaming at the TV saying, no, they're a player, I'm never going back. They do have the right intentions. I mean, this is someone who's holding back from pulling you into maybe another affair. They are considering long-term commitment with you, Virgo, and they genuinely love you. You know? What are they hoping for with my Virgos? They want to move into a new cycle. Virgo, this is someone who's been doing a lot of serious thinking. What they've realised is they're very unhappy in the situation they're in. Yes, they're very attracted to you, but they also believe that you two could build a beautiful life for the future. They see you two together long term and they somehow feel that it was destiny that you met you may have met in rather unusual circumstances or you may have met, started a conversation and it might have felt within a few hours as if you'd known this person all your life, you know? Yeah. What are they actually going to say to my Virgos? The Six of Cups. They've been doing a lot of thinking about the past. They may bring up the past. They may talk about time they spent with you. They may talk about when they met the person that they are in a long-term commitment with. They may say something like, when I met you, it was wonderful, but, you know, I've been with my long-term partner for quite a long time. I didn't know whether or not I had the courage to leave them. What else are they going to say? Wow. Okay. 
I think they're ready to leave the person that they've been with. They're ready. Now, that's a grey area, Virgo. I mean, you could say, well, are they just wanting to move out of living with their person or is this someone who is ready to actually divorce? It'll be different for all of you. But this is someone who is really ready to leave the past behind. They are not wanting to pull you into an affair situation. They are seriously considering committing to you in the future and they are in love. So Virgo, for some of you, you may have wanted me to slander this person. But to be honest, I think they've got the right intentions. I think they genuinely love you. They've been thinking about their long-term happiness and they see you in their future. This is something, Virgo, you're going to realise with the Ace of Swords. They are ready to detach from an old situation. They may have just been really worried about doing that before. They want a brand new start with you. What you have to think about is, are you ready to take them back? It may take some time to rebuild the trust. I think if you do take them back, they're going to take it really slowly. They may even hold back from being intimate with you for a few weeks. They want you to trust them. They may know that the trust has been broken and it was their fault. What's going through your mind, Virgo, when they come out with all of this? Judgment. For some of you, you may be connecting to a Sagittarian. What you're looking at is the past. You may have spent quite a long time dating this person until they came out with the truth or until you found out the truth. They're asking you to make a really serious decision. What are you contemplating here? That one. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo, you may quietly be wondering whether or not you had the courage to work on this again. Yeah. Because this time it's different. This time it is different. You're realizing that you could manifest a serious commitment with this person because they're ready to leave the partner they've been with. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. Yeah. What are you going to say to them, Virgo? What are you going to say? Empress. Virgo, you may be asking this person if their plan is to stay legally married, if that's relevant. You may be asking this person, Virgo, whether or not they'd actually want to marry again if they're considering divorce. You want to find out how they view your relationship in the future, how they see it evolving. What are you going to suggest here, Virgo? What are you going to suggest? The Page of Pentacles. You may say to this person, if they are seriously considering divorce, then you would take them back. You would see if you two could make a go of things. You may be talking about children. You may want children or this person may have children. There could be a conversation about that. For some of you, Virgo, you may say to them, the only way that this could work is if we started from scratch. No jumping straight into an affair situation. You'd want to go right back to the start. What else are you going to suggest here, my Virgos? The world. If there's any distance involved, you may ask this person whether or not they have any plans to relocate. If this is you thinking about the fact this person is ready to leave their partner, you may be suggesting that you two keep in touch as friends, simply as friends, until they're totally out of their other situation. Basically, what you're saying, Virgo, is take it or leave it. This is what I'm willing to do to accept you back into my life. If you're willing to accept that, then we could look at building this relationship again. But Virgo, this is someone very serious with you. 
They are holding back their passion. They do want a new start with you, but they do realise they hurt you in the past. What's the energy between Virgo and their person? Yeah, the Six of Swords. They really want to patch up things with you, Virgo. They really want there to be peace and calm between the two of you. I think this is someone ready and willing to do whatever it takes to have you back in their life. And what you're realising, Virgo, is they've changed. If this is someone previously all about the sexual chemistry, the attraction, you know, very flirtatious, they're not like that anymore. They're much more serious. They're grounded. They're respectful. And this is someone really ready to take their time. And because of that, Virgo, you may give this person a second chance. So, guys, we end the reading with a chariot. I think over the next few months, Virgo, you two are going to be spending time together. They're still going to be acting with integrity. I think they want you to take them seriously. There may be some travel involved. You may still feel emotionally pulled in two different directions, to be honest. You know, one day waking up thinking this is a really bad idea. The next day waking up thinking, yes, but wouldn't it be wonderful if it actually happened? So it's going to be gently, gently, Virgo. This person is going to be treading on eggshells around you. But the difference now, Virgo, is they're ready to do the right thing. They've been doing a lot of thinking about this. All right, my gorgeous Virgos, what are you going to do here? All right, you're going to go for it <laughs> with the energy of the fool. You could be going for it with a Cancerian or an Aries or a Leo. Could be anyone, really. You're deciding to take that risk because it's a calculated risk given what they've told you. This is someone who was not planning on messing you around. What else is on your mind, Virgo? The hangman. You're realising that this is someone ready to make massive changes in their life to make you happy. And you are looking well into the future. You're thinking about the next 10, 20, 30 years because they are. Wow, I don't think this person's ever going to let you go ever again, Virgo. The Page of Cups. Again, there may be a conversation about children or they may yet again be apologising to you. I'm so sorry for the past, Virgo. I'm so sorry for what I put you through. I'm so sorry for the heartbreak. But I think as well as that, there are going to be some I love yous. There will be. Yeah, guys, this is going to take off. I think this is going to take off. Yeah, three of wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're realising this person is serious. What's the topic of discussion here? What's the topic of discussion? The four of wands. I don't think this person's messing around. Uh, they may say to you, Virgo, OK, as soon as I'm out of this relationship, I want us to live together. They may even be talking about a future engagement. The Ace of Pentacles. You two could be deciding where you'd want to live. It could be you two live in different areas. The first thing this person's going to do is leave their partner, move into separation. They're going to do it quite quickly. And they may, Virgo, suggest that you two move straight in together. They may do that. It's almost as if they want you to know that they're taking this whole thing really seriously. They want you to trust them on this. Because with the Two of Cups, Virgo, they're in love. They realise they love you. And if the truth be known, Virgo, I think you love this person too. Guys, I can't believe it. Is this a happily ever after? the star. Virgo, this relationship is going to be healed. This is someone deeply in love with you. They are. 
they may not have realized it until you push them away for good, you know. They may have had a few months to think about this. This could really work, guys. Six of wands. So they're going to successfully get out of the connection they were in. There may be some really good news about the settlement. They may be moving towards you to say we need to celebrate because I'm free. Yes, my beautiful Virgos. Wow. <laughs> With the three of cups. Yeah, I think you guys are going to be cracking open a bottle of champagne. You may not quite believe it, Virgo. You may have been sitting there thinking, yeah, I'm pretty sure at the last minute they're going to turn around and say, I'm sorry, I don't want to do this. I can't leave my person. No, Virgo, they are doing it. They're doing it. So, wow, a beautiful reading. I really hope that this resonates with some of you. Let me know. Drop me a comment, okay? But I'm leaving it there. As always, take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, Virgo.